pray. Heavenly Father, as our faith grows through the blessings of your Holy Spirit, please bring us closer to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We humbly ask that you consider us worthy to be your servants of the gospel, and then send us out into the world to proclaim the good news to the whole creation. Give us the courage we need to be bold witnesses of your love to all people everywhere. We pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our greeting comes from Ephesians, the sixth chapter, verse 24. Grace be with all who have an undying love for our Lord Jesus Christ. My friends in the risen Christ, today is the fifth Sunday of Easter, and today we continue our theme of the good news of the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the permanent impact his victory has over sin, over death, and over the power of the devil. 在复活基督里的朋友们，今天是复活节的第五个主日，将继续我们的主题，那就是耶稣基督复活的好消息以及这个胜利对罪恶、死亡和魔鬼能力产生的永久影响。Today we look at another aspect of the ministry of our Lord, who explains his relationship to us and to his heavenly Father, and does so through one of his "I am" sayings. 今天来看一下我主的另一个方面的施工，他解释了他与我们的关系以及他与天父的关系。耶和华通过他的我是的说法来做到这一点。Last Sunday was Good Shepherd Sunday, and as we noted, there are seven I am sayings of Jesus, all found in the Gospel of John, and each of the I am sayings brings important insights. Each brings us a deeper understanding about who Jesus is and how he relates to us and to his heavenly Father. Once again, the seven I am sayings are, I am the good shepherd, I am the bread of life, I am the light of the world, I am the door, I am the resurrection and the life, I am the way and the truth and the life, and I am the vine. Yesu 我是门，我是复活和生命，我是道路、真理和生命，我是葡萄树。In addition, we noted in last Sunday's message that there is one more very important I am saying found in John chapter eight, verse fifty-eight, through which Jesus further reveals even more about Himself. And here He says, "Very truly I tell you, before Abraham was, I am." These words reveal the all-important truth that Jesus existed before Abraham. Before Christ came to earth at Christmas to be born in a stable, he was in the heavens, as Ephesians 1.3 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. Jesus, as the I Am, revealed this oneness with the Father, that he was in the beginning with God, and that all things came into being through him, and without him, not one thing came into being. Also, when Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am, he pointed to the holy name that the Lord revealed to Moses at the burning bush. In Exodus chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, Moses said to God, 
If I come to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said further, thus you shall say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. 约翰福音八章五十八节中还有一句非常重要的我是通过这句话耶稣进一步的揭示了更多的他自己的信息耶稣在那里说我实实在在的告诉你们在亚伯拉罕以前我就是或者我就存在这些话揭示了一个重要的
我们知道，修剪和除去枯枝十分重要。所有的植物都有枯枝，以及下面的枝条需要被剪掉。即使长在很绿的山坡，上面有很好的植物，也有枯萎的灌木。随着时间的推移，下面的枯枝会逐渐增多，成为火灾隐患。我们非常清楚地知道，干枯的灌木经年累月的堆积，会带来严重的危险。每年，森林和山丘都会发生火灾，这些火灾都是由周围的额外的灌木从助长而成的。在发生火灾之前，每年都必须清除干枯的灌木。It's the same with us when it comes to our own lives. Over time, we accumulate things that need to be pruned and removed. Oh, we may look good on the outside and impress it to the outside world, but inside we also have things that need to be cut out and taken away. We have dead wood that is counterproductive. We have attitudes that, if not checked, hinder and harm us. We have points of view that are in direct conflict with the wisdom of our Lord and even contra contradict the Word of God. Talking about our own lives, it is also the same. As time goes on, we accumulate some things that need to be removed. 和除去的东西，我们的外表和外部世界可能看起来很好，然而我们的内心也有需要除去的东西，一些一些不利于生长的枯木。我们有一些态度，如果不加以控制，就会阻碍和伤害我们。我们有与耶和华的智慧直接冲突，与神的话语相矛盾的观点。As a result, without pruning, we ourselves will expend too much energy and time doing all sorts of unnecessary things, going from here to there, or even all over the place. In essence, we waste time and energy on needless things, on things that are frivolous and wasteful, or harmful and hurtful. The result is that if we don't prune, we will waste too much energy and time doing all sorts of unnecessary things, going from here to there, or even all over the place. In essence, we waste time and energy on things that are frivolous and wasteful, or harmful and hurtful. The result is that if we don't prune, 实质上，我们是把时间和精力浪费在不必要的事情上，浪费在那些轻浮、奢华甚至有害的事情上。Our small catechism has some important words of wisdom that applies to this very thing. In the section on the holy baptism, we have the following question and answer: What does baptism mean for daily living? It means that our sinful self, with all of its evil deeds and desires, should be drowned through daily repentance. And the day after day, a new self should arise to live with God in righteousness and in purity forever. 小圣经纪要课里有一些适用于这件事的智慧之言，在圣洗的这一节当中有以下的问答：洗礼对日常生活意味着什么？它意味着我们罪恶的自我以及所有的恶行和欲望应该通过每天的忏悔而被淹没。日复一日，一个新的自我应该出现，在公义和纯洁中永远与神生活在一起。This is derived from Romans chapter six, where we find these thoughts. What then are we to say? Should we continue in sin in order that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin going go on living in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus? Were baptized into his death. Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. This is from Romans chapter six. In there, you can see such a thought. How do we say that we can live in the end? Is it possible? 我们在罪上死了的人，岂可仍在罪中活着呢？岂不知我们这受洗归入基督耶稣的人，是受洗归入他的死吗？所以，我们借着洗礼归入死，和他一同埋葬，原是叫我们一举一动有新生的样式，像基督借着父的荣耀从死里复活一样。罗马书六章一至四节。It is essential for the Christian to always seek to grow and to mature and to bear good fruit. This means we have to abide in the Lord. 
And that is why Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide, abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me, you can do nothing. So branches get their strength from the vine. They're connected to the vine and live because of that connection. They cannot live on their own. If they are removed, they soon wither and die.这就是为什么耶稣说如果他们被移除，就会很快枯萎和死亡。We are the branches. We draw our strength from the vine, which is Jesus Christ. Apart from Christ, we can do nothing. Apart from Christ, we are nothing. We have no salvation, no forgiveness of sins, no way to reconcile ourselves to our heavenly Father, who is the vine dresser. If we are removed from the vine, we will die. We cannot live on our own. We can only live in a healthy relationship with God through Jesus Christ. As 1 John 4, 15 and 17 says, God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God and they abide in God. God is love and whoever abides in love abides in God and God abides in them. We are Woman 四章十五至十五和十七节所说，神藏在那些承认耶稣是神的儿子人的里面，他们也藏在神里面，神就是爱，凡住在爱里的，就是住在神里面，神也住在他们里面。Love is at the heart and center of our relationship with God. God's love is what sustains us and keeps us. God's love gives us hope each and every day. God's love is powerful. For one thing, as 1 John 4, 18 says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. And then continues to say, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. Love 每一天都给我们带来希望。这种爱是强大的，正如约翰一书四章十八节所说：“爱你没有恐惧，完全的爱能赶走恐惧。”他继续说：“因为恐惧与惩罚有关，凡恐惧的人在爱中未得完全。”
What did you do then? The reporter asked. Well, he said, then I bought two more apples, shined them up, and sold them for 20 cents. The reporter was impressed and thought this was going to be a rather great human interest story. Then what? The reporter asked excitedly. Then my mother-in-law died and left us, left us $20 million, the businessman said. That man prospered, not because of his own efforts or ingenuity, but because he was connected.你看当我和妻子结婚的时候开始只有一个屋子记者感觉印象深刻我们都知道关系很重要 我们是谁能够成功的做什么，都与我们的归属有关。如果要在今生活的来世繁荣，我们必须有关系或者联系。如果没有联系，就会失败。正如耶稣所说的：“离了我，你们不能做什么。”当我们连接在一起时，就有能
the Almighty. Jesus is the Yohan 恩惠平安归于你们。耶稣基督忠实的见证人，此人中的长子，地上诸王的君王，而在第八节中，耶稣宣称：“我是阿尔法和奥米加，现在的、过去的、将来的、全能者。”May our hearts and our minds always be open to receiving a greater understanding of who Jesus Christ is and to receiving his many, many blessings. Amen. Amen.